in this session, we will be configuring app access for our profiles. Um, so the, the applications that we have in Salesforce, for example, these applications that we have uh, can be accessed by users if their profile give them the access. So for example, if I want to remove access uh, from a user's profile, what I can do is once you navigate to the profile and then uh, find the profile. So in this case, it will be custom standard user. You would navigate uh, to this page and then click on this assigned app to say settings that specify which apps are visible in the app menu. So you click on this. And here you can edit this part and remove the access if you if you want to, for example. All right. In our scenario, uh, we don't need the user to have access to any of these uh, profiles. We can just have them access only to, for example, these custom apps that we have created and other things can be removed. For example, I will keep the access for the sales lightning. I'll keep access for that. Uh, sales console, that's lightning app. I'll keep access. Let's remove this. Service standard, I'm gonna remove that. Service console, I'll keep that and remove this other and save. So that's one way to configure your access. Now, if I log in as my test user, let's search the test user. Okay. And I'm going to log in as a test user. So this is the test user with the profile. It says you are logged in as a test user. And if I check the app sections, you see, these are the apps that he has access or the test user has access to. All right, the other app, app access has been removed. Let me log out. But as an admin user myself, since I, I have a different profile, I can see more apps. See, I have access to more apps. Another way to remove access uh, from the app is from the setup form, we go to app manager, app manager. And then from here, we select the specific app, for example, let's say if I go to this uh, sales lightning console app, right? Let's say this app, lightning console app, click here and edit. Go to user profiles, and then from here, remove that profile of our user. So what will that do is it will remove access from all the users who has this profile. So if you wanna do it for the other profiles, you could, you could remove that too, all right? That's another way, that's the second way, for example. Let's save this. Sales console app has been removed from our custom standard user, custom standard user profile. Now, if I search for my test user, it's here, and log in as that test user, then I should see that app removed from that user. So sales console got removed, all right? That's how we control access to apps using the profiles.